Good morning, Moss Warriors. Today is Thursday, September 29th, 2022, and today is National VFW Day. On September 29th, National VFW Day honors the men and women devoted to this valuable organization and those members who have served our nation. Members of the organization named Veterans of Foreign Wars today hold a long-standing history of volunteerism in their communities. Not only have they served their country, but they continue to serve their fellow veterans, families, and communities by sponsoring scholarships, career fairs, mental wellness campaigns, and so many more excellent services. VFW membership since its inception has been instrumental in the establishment of the Veterans Administration, the creation of the National Cemetery System, and passage of the GI Bill. Through the VFW, veterans honor veterans and serve their communities. On National VFW Day, take a moment to recognize all the VFW does in your community and say thank you. Now, will everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As a Mossville warrior, I pledge to do my best today and to be the best I can be. At Mossville School, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. This is the warrior way. This week, we are going to be looking for students that understand the expectations for safety and play. So students are following expectations at recess, during sports, during PE, and during centers in the younger grade levels. We have two birthdays today. We have Ruby Conant in seventh grade and Caitlin Davis in seventh grade. Happy birthday, Ruby and Caitlin. We hope you have a wonderful day. This day in history. In 1960, American oil tycoon John D. Rockefeller becomes the world's first billionaire. John D. Rockefeller, who lived from 1839 to 1937, was the founder of the Standard Oil Company and became one of the world's wealthiest men and a major philanthropist. Born into modest circumstances in upstate New York, he entered the then-fledgling oil business in 1863 by investing in a Cleveland, Ohio refinery. In 1870, he established Standard Oil, which by the early 1880s controlled some 90% of U.S. refineries and pipelines. Critics accused Rockefeller of engaging in unethical practices such as predatory pricing, including with railroads to eliminate his competitors in order to gain a monopoly in the industry. In 1911, the U.S. Supreme Court found Standard Oil in violation of antitrust laws and ordered it to dissolve. During his life, Rockefeller donated more than $500 million to various philanthropic causes. Events today, we have speech practice at 3.30, cross country at the Limestone Invite at 4.15, and girls basketball versus Princeville at 5 o'clock. Good luck, warriors and ghosts. And now, jokes with Steiger. <coughs> Mrs. Ranner. Yeah, Mrs. Steiger. You know why the duck crossed the playground? No, I don't. Why? To get to the other slide. <laughs> Hot lunch today, we have French toast stick with sausage patties, barbecue chicken sandwiches, sun butter and jelly. Our sides are green beans or baby carrots and fresh orange juice or cinnamon applesauce. And remember, it's a great day to be a warrior.